Michigan Senate candidate John James is closing the gap against his Democratic opponent and has a brand new message for the left. The Democratic Party leadership cares more about the black vote than the black people. And it's time to wake up. It doesn't have to be this way. We can have a seat at both tables and we can elevate our people. Selma to New York. Senate candidate and U.S. Army veteran John James joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So I watched your ad, and in your ad, you say that the Democratic business model is centered around dependence in gov on government. Explain. Well, I, I have to say, uh, first coming out of the gate here, uh, with all the divisiveness and the rhetoric that we see all around the, uh, the country, um, I didn't come back from war uh, to see this divisiveness and, and, and this hate and this domestic terrorism. I didn't fight for Democrats or Republicans when I went to war. I fought for Americans. And this is the same message of balance that I'm taking today making sure that we have balance on the floor of the U.S. Senate for the people of the state of Michigan. So regardless of who is in the majority or who's in the White House, Michigan has a voice and Michigan has a say. For too long, one party has had a stranglehold on African Americans around the country. And I believe that by keeping an open mind, keeping an open heart, and keeping open eyes, we can make sure that we have a seat at both tables so that we can begin to get resources and opportunity back into our communities that have been, that have been neglected. Boy, that seems to be a message resonating from the walk away effort to we saw uh, black Black youth at the White House this week, a lot of enthusiasm amongst that community uh, for new ideas. And certainly it seems to be resonating in your race, John. We've got new um, the, the recent poll numbers in the Michigan Senate race have you trailing by, you know, seven, seven points, which is a lot less than where you were. And if you consider the margin of error, it could even be closer than that. How do you feel uh, just just now 10 days out from Election Day? We feel great. I, I think that that number is actually closer, Pete, to your point, um, because uh, typically uh, deplorables, as we uh, begin to call ourselves uh, <laughs> these days, uh, we don't pull, we vote. Um, there's a, a grassroots energy all over the state. And that's why when people hear our message, they recognize that it's not a black message or a white message. It's a red, white, and blue message, as I've said many times, a message of getting experience as the world is uh, a more danger, getting to be a more dangerous place and keeping Americans safe, uh, making sure that everybody can have the American dream. And you can learn more about this, about this American message at johnjamesforsenate.com. John, uh, you released your ad on the same day that uh, pr former President Barack Obama gave a speech in Milwaukee. Uh, so when he gave that speech, he sort of seems to be wanting to take credit for the current state of the economy. Are black voters in Michigan buying that? Well, I'll say that I'm definitely not the voice for all black uh, voters, but uh, for the people but who I'm talking ground, to. But you're on the ground, you're hearing, you're hearing from ground. people. Thank you, of course. On the ground, when I'm knocking on doors, I was actually at an NAACP dinner uh, a few months ago, and I was pulled aside by uh, someone who, to, a young a woman, who said that she's lived in Detroit for 45 years and feels like she's been neglected by the Democratic Party. Another woman told me that uh, she's looking forward to, uh, to finally have a conservative to vote for. Michigan's in play. And for a lot of reasons, one of which being that straight ticket uh, um, voting is, is not uh, allowed anymore. And so people are going to be able to vote their own mind, think independently, because too many people have died for us to have that right. When I go knocking on doors uh, uh, around the city of Detroit, I actually saw a bumper sticker on a door that said, uh, insured by Smith & Wesson. I'm going into a church <laughs> in the next couple hours, and people uh, have this message and understanding that they have choices, they have options, and they can choose too. Right. John James, run for, run for Senate in Michigan. Good luck. Appreciate your service. And, and now nine days left on the trail. I know it's been a long one for you. By the way, we reached out to Stabenow, your opponent, and to appear on the show, but we didn't hear back. So, so just want to make that We note. heard back from Thanks you. Thanks for having me. So thank you, John. <laughs>